If there's something I love just as much as sandwiches, it's gotta be a good old burrito. Today we're making two of my all time favorite. We got California steak and chicken adobo. And we're gonna try and do this all in under 30 minutes. Let's go. All right, first step is to make the marinade. We got two different marinades for the proteins. We're gonna start with the chicken. So we got boneless, skinless chicken thigh into the bowl. Wash my hands really quick. Desanitize. The main component will be chipotle peppers and adobo. You can buy these pre-minced. And you're gonna go in with olive oil, cumin. Go in with salt, of course and a bunch of pepper. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of honey. I find this really contrasts well with like the spices. So you get a little sweet, a little bit of heat too. We'll do a little bit of lime juice. I'm just gonna use my hand to massage the marinade in. Chicken adobo done, moving on to the steak. We got pre-sliced carne asada meat into the bowl, orange juice like a good splash, a good amount of soy sauce. Also going with cumin. I'm gonna throw in some cilantro, throwing everything in there. Lime juice as well, garlic, and then a little bit of pepper. And last to bind it together, a little bit of olive oil. Might have added a little bit too much OJ, but that's okay. All right, so we have both our marinades done, and the reason we did that as the very first step is because obviously the longer you let it sit, the more flavor you're gonna develop. We're in a time crunch, so it's not really gonna sit that long. Ideally, you give it like at least an hour or even overnight, but even in just like 15, 20 minutes, it's gonna develop some good flavor. And now we're gonna move on to the starches. All right, we are moving on to cilantro lime rice. Super easy. Olive oil, just pretty much coat the bottom of the pan. I'm going in with about a quarter of an onion. We are going to wash our rice. Here I have three quarter of a cup of rice. So this, we're just gonna wash the starch off. Basically, you're just gonna wash the rice until the water runs clear. Now we add the rice. And basically what you're gonna do, just toast it all together. Some salt. Nice and toasty. It's on a pretty high heat. We're gonna go in with chicken stock. Now, super simple. Give it a little stir. We're gonna cover, lower the heat, and we're gonna start a timer for 15 minutes. Now for the California burrito, they use French fries. And since we're trying to do this all under 30 minutes, nothing wrong with using some store-bought fries. Saves you a lot of time. Add your fries to the air fryer basket. Get it evenly spread out. And yeah, we're just gonna let these go for about 10 minutes. All right, while the meat's marinating and the starches are cooking, we're gonna move on to the condiments of the burrito. And so one of my all time favorite, guacamole. Super simple, the way I make it, I actually just do avocado, season it, and then some lime juice. Super simple. You can add cilantro, onion, all that, but the other toppings we're gonna add to the burrito will consist of that. So I just keep it super simple. A singular avocado to the mocajete. Obviously you don't need this to make guacamole, but it's just fun. Salt and lime juice. Kind of go to town on it. Boom. Done. We are now going to make some pico. We got Roma tomato. I find it easier to cut a tomato like an onion, and that's the best way to dice it. So just made some cuts. Add that to your bowl. Now onion, 
I believe traditionally they use white onion. Just personally, I love the taste of red. Make our layers and then we'll go into it. Into the bowl, jalapeno. Similarly, I'm gonna cut it like an onion. <laughs> Timer's done. Once the 15 minutes is over, literally just cut the heat and let that rice chill for like five minutes. All right, so jalapeno cut. Going in the bowl, boom. Now a little bit of cilantro. So I'm also gonna cut way more than that's going in here um, because we're gonna add it to the rice to make cilantro lime rice. So all our cilantro here. So we'll just add like a quarter to the pico. The rest here will be used for the rice. Lime juice. And salt. So after five minutes of just resting, we'll fluff it up with a fork. Nice and steamy. Now to make it cilantro lime rice, we add cilantro and a big old squeeze of lime. We'll just mix it up. There you go, cilantro lime rice. Now we move on to the meat. We'll be cooking the steak in here, chicken on here. So for both of them, we're getting it ripping hot. Going with a little bit of olive oil spray. Grab our meat. Steak, here. Chicken, here. Chicken tongs. Steak tongs. We are moving. You can lower the heat. Going in with the steak. And now we'll go in with the chicken over here. And we'll just add some weights. Get those grill marks on there. Chicken is cooked. So we have our chicken here. I'm just gonna get a nice rough chop. There we go. And fries done. I mean, these look for like store-bought frozen. They look like McDonald's fries. I need a little bit of salt, but tastes great. It is time to assemble. So we have giant super burrito tortillas. Uh, a lot of people ask me where I get these from. I go to a Mexican grocery store, Northgate Market. What I've also done in the past is I've gone to like my local shop where I go and like get burritos and whatnot and ask them to just, if I could buy just the tortillas. And most of the time they let you just buy the tortillas. So you're gonna wanna lightly heat this up to make it more pliable. Light your burner. Get an open flame. You can also microwave this. I don't own a microwave tortilla. And I'm just rotating, getting a couple sides, a couple seconds on each little area. Already much more pliable. So we're gonna start with the chicken one. Cilantro rice, pop it on top. Nice even amount. We got our chicken. We're going double chicken today. The pico we made right on top. I'm also a fan of pickled onions. We made this in our last video. Do a little bit of that. And then want to top this all off with my favorite hot sauce, tapatio. And then just a little bit of guac right on top. Take your sides, fold it over. Everything is central. I'm gonna roll forward, 
scooch it back. Now this is the key part. You have this little flap here, tuck in, tuck in, and then continue your rolling nice and tight. That is a perfect roll. Fingers are a little dirty, but that's okay. And now we're just gonna grill it. So two benefits to grilling it like this. One, it's gonna grill the seam side down and make sure it stays intact. And two, it adds a little bit of texture. We just want it nice and golden brown on each side. So that's exactly the color you're looking for onto the cutting board. And let that rest while we get our other burrito ready. A little bit of crema as the base. We'll then top it with our crispy fries. Get it all centered. Heaping amount of steak. There we go. Once again with pico. Big old spoonful of guac. I also have some chipotle crema. I'm gonna add that. Now, sides in, fold over. Keep everything kind of flushed in. It's a little messy with the guac. I have these two. They're tucked in and that'll help us complete the shape. Give it a final roll and then we'll sear. So here we have it, our two burritos. We got steak, California, chicken adobo, I have a slight confession to make. This took definitely closer to like hour, hour 15. But that being said, if you prep the ingredients beforehand, cook the chicken and the steak, you can even have store-bought pico, store-bought guac to assemble both of these and cook it. I mean, you'll be done in like 20 minutes. So all that's left to do is taste. We'll start with the California. I have another confession to make. I forgot cheese, don't hate me. This is still gonna be great. But if you wanna add cheese, go for it. I'm gonna eat it without, but cheers. That doesn't need cheese. So maybe I just added myself for no reason, but that is amazing. Everything works great. The fries really soak up all like the juiciness, add some texture. This is a great overall well-balanced burrito. So good. I'm starting to think all burritos should be doing french fries over rice. Before this, I didn't know whether I preferred the steak or the chicken. That just made a really good argument for itself. Time for the chicken. We got cilantro lime rice, adobo chicken, guac, pickled onions, pico de gallo, and hot sauce. Cheers. Mm. That's fucking good. That was amazing. The chicken is cooked perfectly. Chicken thigh, I think is perfect for a burrito like this. It's super juicy, tender. In terms of what I prefer, I think I could eat this one more frequently, the chicken. But if I wanna like indulge or I'm hungover or really just like in craving steak, California burrito never disappoints, but I could eat this one like probably two to three times a week. Because of that, I think I wanna go with chicken as the winner. There you have it, two really awesome burritos in 30-ish minutes. Um, let me know if you try it and let me know what you wanna see me make in the next video. Thanks for watching.